And finally, we can pad. So we will pad some things to our sixth string. We'll call it S7. And we can see that we can pad to the left or pad to the right. If we pad left, this may not function as you think it's going to function. This is going to pad a total number with a character here, or you can just pad a total width. If we pad the total width, this is going to be the total width of our string. So let's try that first. Let's say pad 30 to S6, and then we're going to output that. And we'll call it pad left. There we go. Change that to S7. Now we'll pad left. So we padded a space. And if we take a length of our string, we're going to see that this is going to be the total length here. And it padded whatever it need to here with spaces to get to that total length. We'll take a peek. And you can experiment with the others as you need to. You can pad anything you want there. You can pad a character if you want to. We have a build error. We put that as a method. It's just a property. And then you can see that the length is going to be 30. And the length before that, before we pad it, is going to be S6. So we'll take a look at the S6 length. And notice that we have 12. It's in quotes, but you know what I mean. We had 12, so we pad it here to get it to 30. So we're actually adding 18 there. So this is going to be the total. If you want, you can pad something else there. You can pad additionally. We'll use S7 again, but we're not going to redeclare it there. And we'll use pad left. And this time we're going to put the total width. And we're going to put our own char in there. We're going to use the single quotes for the char. And now we're going to output this again. And see what we get. Everything should be the same. And there you go, we padded it with these dashes, so it's easier to see what we have there. Nice and neat. So you can see that you can pad whatever you want there, not just the white space. And for our length, we'll get rid of that. And run it from there. So very powerful tools that you can work with within strings. There you go.